Good morning, everybody. It's your favorite aspiring revolutionary here, a wandering author, reminding you that we are all the authors of our own lives. As always, my message remains the same. Spend less, live more, earn your freedom with frugality. Today, we are at Eye of the Needle Rapids uh, along the Sipsy River in the Sipsy Wilderness. Um, we will be heading up to Michigan here coming next week. And today I'd like to speak about a topic uh, related to Stoic philosophy, kind of continuing our discussion of Eastern and Western versions of mindfulness. And the topic I have in mind is phronesis, or what we would call today prudence, which is a type of practical wisdom that one gains through experience. So Aristotle, Plato, and the Greek Stoics they defined wisdom as episteme or techne, which is like knowledge that you would gain in a school, like school learning. That's what we would call it, kind of book smarts nowadays, right? Then you have your street smarts, which is the phronesis side of things. <laughs> so uh, Plutarch once said, I would rather excel in the knowledge of what is excellent than in the extent of my power and possessions. And what he's really getting at is the exercise of virtue. So. For the Stoics, both Greek and Roman, they believed that the key to living a good life was to live virtuously, which you needed prudence or phronesis in order to do. Um, so Aristotle actually was defined it as a type of moral understanding. And in Plato's book, uh, he has Socrates say that he believed phronesis was necessary for all virtue, and that being good was to be an intelligent or reasonable person with intelligent or reasonable thoughts. Modern translations have actually translated phronesis as mindfulness itself, right? So, uh, an example of phronetic action would be like being honest to somebody, even though it might hurt their feelings, right? So. The initial virtue, if you just look at it like that, you might think that you need to not hurt someone's feelings, but truly telling them something that may hurt their feelings could help them out in the long run, right? So that's really all I have today for you guys. Um, start cultivating phronesis. Oh, they didn't believe that young people could be phronetic. Like even though a young person could like be excellent in uh, geometry or math or something like that, arithmetic, they couldn't be phronetic because to develop phronesis, you need experience, right? It's the process of learning about yourself that actually allows you to develop that attribute. Um, tomorrow, I will be talking about Gaius Julius Caesar, one of the greatest populist leaders of all time, and also history's Darth Vader. Um, but I think I'll be in front of some waterfalls again tomorrow, uh, and then I'll be heading up north, uh, at the end of this week. So until then, uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. Uh, as always, my message remains the same. Spend less, live more, earn your freedom with frugality. And what are you guys doing in order to inspire and uplift your community today? Because this world isn't changing unless we all do our part. As always, y'all have a great day now.